What's up my friends? So this is going to be a video review of the brand new Shark Vertex Power Lift Away Upright Vacuum Cleaner. This is not a sponsored video, but I will leave this product listed and linked down below for you if you want to check it out further. When you look at this box in the stores and you see all this information, right? We got four sides of pictures and text and graphics, information. What's all this stuff mean? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to go over in this video. I'm going to explain to you what all this language is. We're going to go over all the important specs and features of this vacuum cleaner so that you can make an informed buying decision. For those of you that don't know, the previous top of the line vacuum cleaner released by Shark was the Shark Apex. This vacuum right here, the Shark Vertex, is supposed to replace that one. And not only replace it, but it's supposed to be a significant upgrade. In a nutshell, this vacuum right here, the Shark Vertex, is supposed to be Shark's most powerful vacuum cleaner ever released. The two specifications we need to look at in order to test that claim, Vertex versus the Apex, are the vacuum cleaner's suction and airflow ratings. The Apex has a suction of 101 inches of water lift, while the Vertex has a suction of 104 inches of water lift. In terms of airflow, the Apex has 90 CFM, while the Vertex has 105 CFM. Those numbers are awesome. The Shark Vertex is definitely stronger and more powerful than the Shark Apex. The other most important specification you need to look at when you're shopping for a vacuum cleaner is the vacuum's filtration. It's incredibly important, especially if you have allergies or for those of you in the cleaning business like me who are going to buy this and take it to other people's homes. You need to know about the vacuum's filtration. Here's a little secret to the vacuum world. Most all vacuum cleaners blow dust all over your house. They leak. Unless they're premium grade, they're going to leak. And that's why when you use a cheap vacuum cleaner, the air tends to stink. The opposite of that is to have a vacuum cleaner that is completely sealed. A completely sealed system that doesn't leak and doesn't blow dust. But how do you know when you're shopping for a vacuum cleaner, how do you know if the vacuum cleaner is a completely 100% sealed system? One of the ways to know is the box will typically notify you. And that's one of the reasons why when we look at this box, they have an allergen sealed system, right? Anti-allergen complete seal. No vacuum emits cleaner air. And then if you look at that, it says completely sealed HEPA system keeps dust and allergens out of the air you breathe. So that feature alone makes this vacuum cleaner completely worth it because you know you have a real vacuum cleaner. You don't have a dust blower. You have a completely sealed system. It's the most important specification when you're shopping. So what does this powered lift away mean? This just means that you can lift away the canister from the vacuum cleaner, hold it in your hand, and you can still vacuum. You still have power going to the vacuum cleaner. This just allows you to vacuum underneath stuff better so that canister doesn't get in the way, underneath couches, beds, whatever. And it just allows you to hold that canister in your hand and vacuum random stuff. Shelves, cabinets, drawers, etc. Let's talk for a moment about the Duo Clean system here. As you can see, we got that pretty neon blue. I love that. It might not mean much to you, but I love that color. So Duo just means two. You have two vacuums in one here, two rollers. You got a soft roller and then you got your typical, uh, this right here is supposed to replace your typical brush roller. This right here is what allows you to vacuum carpets. This allows you to vacuum uh, non-carpeted flooring. Another thing about this brush roll right here is it's called a self-cleaning brush roll. These power fins right here kind of help make it resistant to hair getting tangled around it so you don't have to take scissors and constantly cut away hair. So it, this, these rollers right here stay pretty much hair free. Another important thing for me is the length of the cord. The Shark Vertex has a cord length of 30 foot, whereas with a Dyson, typically the cord length is around 35 foot. Now, that's an important thing for me, and one of the reasons why I've always chose Dyson over Shark is because the length of the cord is, is everything for me. Not everything, but it's very important, especially when I'm taking these into older homes where electrical outlets are scarce. You know, I need a longer cord. I might, I might have access to one outlet, and then I need to vacuum two or three rooms with it. So, if cord length is important to you, um, just know 
the shark vertex cord length of 30 foot, whereas most of your Dysons are around 33, 35 foot. So let me make a mention of maintenance real quick. Always, whenever you're using these shark vacuum cleaners, you always want to make sure and check behind your uh, soft roller on the vacuum cleaner. It will get dirty from uh, extensive use. So always make sure you pull off that, that soft brush roll clean behind it, and also, like with any type of vacuum cleaner, you want to make sure that you keep your filters clean. If you don't clean your filters, then it doesn't matter what vacuum cleaner you have, it's going to lose suction and it's going to lose power. Keeping those filters clean is critical when it comes to vacuum maintenance. So on a scale of do not buy, indifferent, or yay yay, what am I going to rate the Shark Vertex vacuum cleaner? I'm going to have to give this vacuum cleaner a yay yay! One final thing I forgot to mention, you may be wondering, does the vacuum cleaner come with any attachments? Well, we got this and these two right here. This right here, which is great for vacuuming uh, couches or uh, carpeted stairs. So it's got a little beater bar, right? Plug it right up to the hose, yellow instead of blue. We also have this brush attachment, and we have a crevice tool for baseboards. I told myself I'm not gonna look through it into the camera, and I'm not gonna do it. Be yours, crud, cut one bottle at a time. Everybody, now spit this rhyme.